What's up YouTube? I'm here today at the shop uh, here to talk about uh, something, a topic that we always, you know, kind of dread is the fact that, uh, you know, our cars get rusty and I'm here to make a video on the, uh, you know, the five top spots that they all like to rust at. And, you know, this is especially useful for people who are getting ready to buy a Fox body or getting, you know, kind of jump into the genre. Um, you know, these are things you need to be looking for. Um, you know, these cars do rot a lot. Uh, they rot in little hidden spots that's hard to see. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know where to look. Um, you know, they, and they get structurally, these, these, these cars are a big puzzle when it comes to, um, you know, spot welds and stuff. You know, that's why they need to be subframed and, you know, they need to have, you know, a cage for the most part. But, I mean, I, I got a cage in my black car back here, but it's removable, half of it is or whatever. So, anyways, without further ado, hit like, subscribe, make sure you share the video. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna break this down into five different uh, different spots. Um, this car actually was in really really nice shape as far as paint wise. This was a friend of mine, Tony's car, um, but you know it got to the point to where you know he started you know modifying it and started you know wanting to do you know some some pretty pretty good stuff, go fast, you know turbo, etc. And of course. You know he was going to do some sheet metal work and it just got too excessive so this is the fifth spot i think we're going to count them down the number five spot that you probably would need to look for is right under the gas tank and you, you know a telltale sign is always that bumper you know you can see the bumper and the rust uh you know coming back here you can't even pull that shock out it's so bad but i mean this is a hidden spot this is a frame rail you know that's that's bad you know what i mean i would call this the fifth spot and it's hiding under the, underneath the gas tank for the most part you can't really see much of it so the only way to fix that really is to not fix it is to just go move on go get a donor etc and you know you can see the bumper is just rotted and there's just not much you can do with it now I'm gonna tap into this fifth one as this quarter panels. As you can see, these are already been repaired once. Now you sure you can you can repair these. These aren't that big of a deal. And the best place to put the welds are underneath of this ground effects piece. So you know this is not a big deal to repair. Uh, neither is this. But you know again, this is all stuff that you normally wouldn't see to begin with, because in a factory. This would be pinched weld together with spot welds. It wouldn't be overlapped like that. So they didn't do a bad job repairing it, but it is what it is. I'd have to say the number four spot would probably be right here in the A pillar area. And you can see somebody foamed this, you know, hiding it. Uh, this whole A pillar right here. Especially on cars that are that, that are equipped with uh, sunroofs. Because this is one of the sunroof drains. Matter of fact, that number five spot back there, that, that is another sunroof drain area. And it gets sand and it gets dirt inside of here. So this whole area gets rotted. This whole A pillar where the door is at. And it comes into this, uh, you know, actually somebody has repaired this. And you can see right here, I didn't even notice it. Um, this whole thing gets rotted. You can definitely tell somebody's repaired it. Let's go to the other side. Take a quick look. You know, same thing. Somebody's repaired that. This whole A, A pillar here, like again, this is like just a, a no-go. Like when your car, when it gets super bad down here, sure, some of this stuff can be repaired if you want to take the time and you really love the car. You know, the rocker area. And I mean, not so much the rockers like like a truck would, because my truck's rockers are starting to rot, but these Mustangs love this A pillar. And again, this is just where there were there was this this little thing here, uh, this little insulator. Those things get all dirty and they get all wet and nasty and what have you uh, I would call that the number four spot and we'll just continue moving on um, kind of to tap into that we're gonna move back here all right so I'm underneath of the car um, and as you can see here the frame rails still you know uh, we're gonna talk about the torque boxes torque boxes would probably number three um, these are very very important because the torque boxes just get destroyed I mean, this is pretty thin sheet metal here, and they like to rot and rust all up in here, real bad. And when you're 
when your uh, torque boxes start to rip away, there's like three or four spot welds right here that it starts to rip away from. So I'm trying to get a good angle here. You can see how much rot and stuff's up in here. And these just get destroyed. I mean, people put jack stands on them and use them for jack, you know, jack areas, kind of like what we did, but we actually went on the frame rail right here. This is the right spot to put your jack stand, not over here. Don't jack your car up on this. This thing doesn't, ain't worth a shit. This little box here ain't worth a shit to uh, really put a jack stand on and jack, jack up from. But, I mean, you can tell, just looking at it, just how much rust is really in here. And the only really way to repair this is to pretty much cut the whole thing out and put the aftermarket ones in. But I'd have to call that the number four, or excuse me, the number three spot of concern. Now they make torque box reinforcements and those actually work really well. If you got a little bit of rust or what have you, and you know, there's, there's areas of concern here. They actually make a plate that goes up inside here right up inside here and drills through here and I actually weld to it but if you're too rusty but not rotted yet you could at least buy some time on your torque boxes for that matter I mean but anyways let's move on to the other ones I mean, this thing is bad look at this all right so my number two area naturally is gonna be up in the car and you can guess it it's the floor pans uh, these particular floor pans are just absolutely destroyed. And you can see more A-pillar damage here. Uh, if I get my thing up in here. You can see it right there. Look how nasty all that A-pillar is. But this car was in really piss poor shape uh, structural wise. Just got a new paint job two years ago. Tony did a really nice job on the car. And he's just like, you know, hey, I need a roller. This is getting bad. But anyways, the, uh, the floor pans love to rust right up in here. Um, there's a seam, uh, there's a seam that runs where the firewall actually attaches to this floor pan. And there's also, you know, this stuff isn't very thick at all. You know, it's like 16, it's not even 16 gauge, I don't think. But there's spot welds here. Are floor pans repairable? Absolutely. If you got bad floor pans, there's, there, you know, there's pinch welds all in here. That would actually make for a great video, but that's very time consuming. You see all these pinch welds here. You can actually drill all these out and they make special tools that you could remove this whole pan and this whole floor pan area okay and and you can actually it's just like a puzzle i mean literally that's all these fox bodies really are um you could literally take this whole floor pan out and you know obviously support the car and you could replace the pans so um these are a dead giveaway uh, especially in the seams area up in the front it seems to be even on my cars that don't have any rust at all there always seems to be a little bit a little bit of spot let me get you in here like right here see this seam right here where the the, the firewall comes down there's always a spot i mean it's ridiculous and then it comes up into here where that you know where that uh a lot of water and dust and shit get into so let's get into the last part um, again, this is all kind of part of the, the A-pillar too. So, I mean, these cars get real bad. And last but not least, uh, I'm actually gonna show you two piece, two cars. Uh, this is not a really good example because Tony had actually went ahead and uh, fixed the, the strut towers. But strut towers are probably the most common and the most frowned upon uh, rust spot. You can't really see what we right here. But, you know, we're gonna show you a different car. Uh, since I didn't think this was a good donor. So let's continue to move on and I'll show you the other one. All right, so what I got here is a, I think this is an 89 coupe that I saved. This car had just been sitting in somebody's, uh, you know, it was a customer's car. I mean, they didn't even care about it. Um, the guy did a real nice job with the, you know, underneath of it, but again, got problems with the strut tower. So here's your real bad rot. I mean, this isn't super like completely gone, but you can see this is a really air, you know, a, a strong area of concern here. Because what had happened was, is over the years, you know, had they just put the, you know, the sheet metal, like even with the strut tower where the water didn't come down and, you know, there's a lot of condensation that happened in here because the headers were right next to the, to the strut tower area. You don't normally see a lot of rust up in here. It's always right here. 
um, because of that heat and that cold and, and water and whatever. But these can be repaired um, one of two different ways. Uh, I would suggest in this type of an area, those actual could be cut out. But what we have is we have a what we have is uh, you know spot welds here, and you know there's several layers of spot welds here that can be taken out. And actually, this whole rail and whole assembly can come right out, right here. Lots of spot welds. I think a friend of mine did this uh, actual repair for a customer, and I think he said there's about 180 he had to go through, and it started up here. You know, it comes up here, and you start undoing the spot welds here, but. These can actually be cut out. I wouldn't cut that out. I would actually remove this whole subframe and either build one or put a factory one in, you know, and you can start, you can see there's spot welds all the way through. It's just like a puzzle, folks. And then you just square it up in a frame uh, frame shop. You know, part of this strut tower front engine bay rot, you know, obviously is the radiator support. This is always usually bent up um, because people like to hook with it. Never hook there. There's two big holes underneath of your factory K-member where you could actually put a hook to. And there's actually, you could use the coil spring hole to hook your, uh, you know, hook things to. Don't ever hook the radio. That's not strong enough to pull anything. So anyways, there you have it, folks. Uh, those are my top five spots. Uh, if you're looking for a Fox body and or buying a Fox body or trying to fix a spot Fox body and aren't very, you know, aren't very, you know, known for, you know, knowing where they rust at, that's pretty much it. Uh, sometimes I like to get sneaky up here too. You see this, but... You know, these cars are 35 years old, man. So, this is the stuff you need to look for when you're buying them. Anyways, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I super appreciate all your guys' time.